Okay, do I make this jump? As I, I don't know, but it needs. Are the you at the end there. of your pole? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Nate oh, dies. Sorry, it seems you're going into the season of autumn. Or was that fall? Ugh. Have okay. a nice fall. So even though I managed to make that jump in the tutorial, I can't do it in this. So um, I swear I should have made that jump. Though I don't know if the hit detection was off or it was just me. Actually, it was you because uh, you were supposed to uh, remember, Dwebs. You're supposed to press the jump button at the very uh, height of his um, swinging. I, I did. Bad idea. Yeah, bad idea, Nate. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, let's hope I get it done the second time if I manage to get there. Yep. Whoa. whoa. Just make sure not to take the down trip. It's a real Lulu. It's real steep here. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, that last step was a doozy. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, looks like your relationship's literally on the rocks now. <sighs> They're leaving me hanging. I already made that <laughs> joke. Let's come on. Let's um. I gotta make God sure I crack this window of opportunity. God is not pleased with no, you, Nate, Nathan Drake. Nate. I will kill you before. Nate. You... Oh, Nate, don't say break. <laughs> please don't break. Please don't break. Ah, it broke. No. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! I jinxed it. Okay, now do I make the jump? Or the Quick, loop? Nate, hit the brakes. Maybe it might slow down your demise. Okay, do I make it now? Yes. Oh, apparently, I, like used to. <laughs> I just I just popped to the um to the um ledge. Here here we go. And now it's time to jump from couch to couch. Make sure not to loaf around. What else could go wrong? <laughs> Don't say that. Come on, Dwebs. I'm sure saying what else could go wrong is never the epitome of sparking disaster. It cannot possibly get any worse. <laughs> it cannot possibly get any worse. Oh, look, it just did. Hmm. Well, shoot. All right. Okay, I think I am home free. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Nate, you're doing pretty good for someone who's been shot through an important part of your body. Again, um, like, uh... It's the luck of having your name on the box. Not just that, uh... Um, uh actually, you already know, Drake isn't on the title of this game. No, but no. haven't you got the Nathan Drake collection? Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> now he technically yeah, is, yes. Anyway, uh, anyway, like, I, anyway, like I was, anyway, like I, like I was saying, Jove, um, you'd be surprised how how much uh, uh, how adrenaline can really push a, a a man to his limits. True. Oh, oh, trust me, trust me, trust me. I know. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah, adrenaline it's is good. Instinct. Yeah. I just give you semi super strength and let's not forget. Let's not forget. Let's Since you already played this part in the tutorial, um, I'm gonna have to play this bit. So now we just skip directly ahead to him getting past all that. And crap. here's um, uh, in the PSP he's version. Here's the interesting thing: in the PSP version, uh, in the XMB, when you're selecting the game, this scene is playing in the little small window. All right. Small window. Basically, basically, when you, basically they when have you... a little screen when you're highlighting the game in the PS3's main menu. Mm -hmm. Ah. So, uh, Nate is a, a bit of a cold bind at the moment. But he finally but got the, the dagger back. back. The dagger. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, so are the others. I, I, also, uh, uh, I also love that line he said earlier. I'm so sick of, t I'm so sick of climbing shit. <laughs> Alright, so this is yet another one where uh, if you go, you can actually. Pass, bypass quite a lot of this section if you stealth properly. Oh, looks like Dwibs is trying to do that. Uh, at the moment. Like I said, I'm not he was trying to The main reason for... Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, never, never right mind. there. That's not that. It's not that... Uh, well... 
Well, at least well, at, at least it, at least it was a grenade, so he didn't reveal your position. Yeah, true. Not bad, Dwibs. Not bad. Mm-hmm. You're planning on the any... well. You could use. Oh yeah, that's right. There's no other grenades that you have. Yeah, I don't have any grenades left, so I can't uh, do the same trick twice. So I just shoot him. Well, there's like only two left, so I guess fair game. Not bad. Bring it on. Huh. Okay, you actually handled that situation pretty well. <laughs> I guess like cheese, you get better with age. Sure. <laughs> what? I didn't say you were cheesy, or did I? <laughs> the more the merrier. You know what they say. Hey, the more the merrier. <laughs> Poor Nate must be freezing. Well, then again, I mean, as long as that adrenaline holds out, I guess he can handle it. Well, no considering, well, con a more believable situation than beyond. Well, considering, well, considering, yeah. well, considering the amount of um, the amount of people constantly trying to kill him, he's he keeps getting rushes of it anyway. So. Yeah, he probably has good endurance. Well, the thing, well, well the thing, well, the thing, well, well, the thing is, Shiroi. Um, I'm, surprised, I'm surprised he isn't suffering from the PTSD. Tony Stark in an Iron Man three. Well, the thing is, the thing, the thing we all, uh, the thing that's also uh, in its defense, there's also the fact that uh, unlike Beyond, well, well, I, I, don't, I guess Beyond is not really the. Okay, let's uh, let's say Heavy Rain, for example, because Heavy Rain is uh, completely realistic and takes place in the real world. Um, that game, it's like for example when um, when Nate, like when Ethan falls from that building and he, and as just put out very well, he didn't even break his back or anything. He's just perfectly fine. Uh, it, it, however, in Uncharted, it's much more easy to uh, it's much more easy to let that go because uh, the, the, the series has never at all tried to pass off itself as realistic. It has supernatural elements up the wazoo anyway. This series has never all been. Right, all right, this, this 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 bit here is bullshit. This series is realistic okay. for the most okay, part. Okay, but okay, it's okay, sort of okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry to interrupt. This bit's bullshit. How could yeah. I have known those enemies were coming? Yeah, that's that's yeah, a that, is. That, that, that that is a common problem that's been always uh, about with this game. Uh, that that specific spot right there. Basically, basically, the game expects you to kill all the enemies first. Um, but the problem. Which is fine, but those two came out of nowhere. It's not yeah, that. It's not that. Lips. It's not that. Lips. It's the problem. The reason you die there, you don't understand. Lips. The reason you die there is because you tried to climb that before the game expects you to. The problem is that that was an incredibly terrible programming oversight by the programmers. Basically, you're supposed to climb that part only after all the enemies are killed. If you try to do it before it, then the game will just uh, kill you outright. Uh, it, it's a, it's, a civil... it's not it's that good coming. that the game doesn't quite do a good See, job. Yeah. I'm waiting for them to come. No, they don't I, come. So I start trying climb. I know, Dwebs. Trust me. I know. Uh, I this can. a lot of us. Oh, are... believe you me. Uh, when we get to Spyro Free, that... I'm gonna uh, have a fair few that complaints that about some of the enemies in that game. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, uh, Dwebs. Dwebs does kind of have a point. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. That that part is complete bullshit and a complete and a blatantly terrible oversight by the programmers. Although see, um, here's what the fault. game should have it's done, was like, fault. you know... See, here's what the game should have done. What the game should have done was either tell you some enemies are still alive or give you a counter yeah. of how many enemies you need to what take the game should have done. What, what the game should have done is prevent us from being able to climb that that but uh, up until it, it expects us to. And there you go, problem solved. I, I, I guess it oh, forgot. The enemies again. Quick well, preventing may not be as good as an idea, but I think that go, um, go, the games have found is. some way to convey to it that I go yeah. trying to climb up that is a bad idea. Now without, I know. You know. Coming. No, yeah. The only problem yeah. is, is that now they've got another problem. The enemies are so far away by this point, I should be able to climb out and the enemies shouldn't be able to catch up to me. Quick question about the bit that we just passed. Yeah. I know it's still bullshit and what I'm about to say doesn't excuse, you know, the programming. But could you have bypassed that by throwing a grenade at them, or not? No, 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 nothing of the sort. Okay. There you go. Now I can- wait, wasn't there- weren't there two enemies that shot me and yet I sh 
shot one of them and I, I could escape. Fortunately, I, I can. I, I, fortunately, I would like to say that that's the only that bit is the only bit in, the, in this entire franchise where that kind of stuff happens. So don't and worry. It's the game I play, of course. <laughs> well, don't, don't worry, Dwips. Trust me. We've all been. Everybody who's played this game has been through that. Trust me. Everybody dies there at the first yeah. in the first time. Trust me. Yeah, it's a real stupid thing. Even I've died to it. Fortunately, it's only it's the only one time it happens in this entire franchise. So... Speaking of dying, Nate, come on, man, don't give me the cold yeah. shoulder. By the way, Empire Strikes Back reference. <laughs> Indiana Jones, is that you? Uh, it's that 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 you know that part where um, Luke is um, see, uh, uh, almost. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, in half, yeah. Yeah. Just that guy looks like he could be Indiana Jones. Which wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, going back to the realistic these games are realistic in the sense that Indiana Jones is realistic. For the most part, it's realistic, but it has a lot of out of weird stuff happen here and there. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're actually speaking the native language. Point to this game for that. Because... Yeah, they're speaking actual Tibetan actual Tibetan. And again, the Tibetan, uh, 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 it's just the norm actually. It's like when I you have you know of... language you actually speak that oh, language yeah. and again i saw legends of tarzan earlier and that film also yeah. for the most part has the natives speak their own language oh, well, it makes sense it's like i said i mean go, that's the norm nowadays it's like well, anything less than that is <laughs> yeah uh, no 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 that's that's plenty one cool one, one cool thing that i like about uh, the, the, this guy by the, this this character by the way uh one thing that i like about this character is that uh Forgot the entirety of the game. We will never actually understand a single word he's saying again because he speaks a different language. But uh, they do a good job in making them each other communicate through gestures and uh, you know just uh, helping out each other and stuff yeah, like that. Nice, just the communication. Don't you mean yeah. uh, sure. uh, mimicking? That's so it. yeah, where are we exactly? We're, in, we're still in Tibet. Well, yeah, we're speaking sure. Tibetan. <laughs> Wonderful observation. Well, Tintin in Tibet is my favorite Rosalan. Tintin book, so... Uh, yeah, we, but luckily we made it down the mountain. The hell am I? <laughs> sure. Uh, don't you see, Nate? This is the Chris This is the modern reimagining of the crystal, crystal maze. Now we're in the Tibet zone. Chapter 16. Where am I? And by the way, this... Uh, and by the way, this is another... Uh, yeah, this, this chapter is basically you just walking through... Yeah, this, mo this, is, mostly a, this is mostly a story chapter. Go somewhere. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I can appreciate an extra adventure game that can actually, you know, settle down for times like this. Oh, no, no. The Uncharted 4 uh, flat out does Uncharted that, for, does that for, for, for an entire... Uh, uh, there's literally a chapter literally called chapter a, nor a, no anyone? Yeah, yeah, a Normal Life. Literally called A Normal Life. Now featuring Crush Bandicoot. Anyway... The one th and the fandom's broken hearts. <laughs> when I play, when I played this game originally back in 2009 on the PS3, I was really uh, impressed by the amount of uh, detail the, on the buildings in this town. It's really well done, and and the uh, and the and Blue Points remaster oh, only only adds better. to the to the beauty of it. There you go. Get it. Oh, football. Kick it back. Yay, soccer. Kick it. Kick. Get it. Yeah. The influence of soccer reaches far. Mm -hmm. Hi. Come here often? Maybe. Um, Alright, let's keep going. Okay, see it. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, this is really Beyond Two Souls, but done better. Well, it's practically every David Cage, but better. Eh, honestly, the, I, I, I think the I think Telltale's games are much more appropriate for that title. These games are no, 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 this no, no, no. games are a couple of different genres. I'm talking about like Beyond Two Souls, like where it's clearly action and adventure, no stuff like this. And have oh, stuff. Way, guys, and I'm doing kind of -ish. I'm doing the um I'm doing the super dynamic David David Yates 360 degree camera spin. Notice my directing. Yeah, but what I mean, oh, Joe, is that this uh, game has a, this, there, this game has actual gameplay. You know, uh, platforming, shooting, and all that shit. Whereas uh, uh, the kind of game that uh, David Cage. Oh, 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 Nate, <laughs> thank God you're all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I. It's all right. 
Elena, tell me you have some idea of what's going on. I mean, how long have I been here? Yeah, you, only a few days. I followed the tracks to the wreckage. What the hell happened? Uh, you were right about Only that. a few days. <laughs> Turns out she wasn't exactly looking to be rescued. Wait, did she Epical. do it? No, no. Uh, that's fun for this. She felt good. Nah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go to some. Come on. There's somebody who's Oh, to you can you. speak to Betsy. Then speak again, speak. I guess it makes sense. She's a reporter. She's a she's, a, she's an international reporter so, anyway, so I guess it makes our sense. Our mysterious guest mm -hmm. awakes. Nate, this is Carl Schaefer. How are you feeling? There we go. Good. Thanks. Good. good. Carl is going to Please. be our um, Yoda for the evening. It appears yeah. you and I have much in common, Mr. Drake. Is that so? Yeah. This is an interesting commentary. Um, both me and Pedro can be famous considered the least, as I'm the one playing the game, but Pedro has also played the game in the past, so he can give some insight into this as well. I was hired to lead an expedition into that, and of course, I'm gonna have to be the one the recording the the extras for for this playthrough because uh, the extras were removed in the Nathan Drake collection for for the sake of this space. It is boneheaded. No, it's not, Java. Remember, they're put, they're trying to put three PS3 games on a on a single disc. Uh, they had to remove stuff. They then, then they could have just made a DLC. Uh, I mean, really, not including it at all for the eh, remaster. Well, you can watch it. If, if it's such a problem, you can just watch them on YouTube anyway. Oh, I think he knows. Again, though, it, it is rather boneheaded for them to have not included it in some medium, shape, or form. YouTube. They have beaten you, huh? Your quest is Far from it. Yeah. You got the dagger. Yeah. What if it's only beginning? Oh, uh, yeah. You think it's over? Oh, no, it's only just beginning, <laughs> cliché. Ding! Trust me, man, your ego will mend. <laughs> You're just lucky to be alive. Yeah, you know, people are always telling me how lucky I am. <laughs> but the truth is, everything I touch turns to shit. Nate. No, Elena. Uh, uh Nate. Now, on, Nate, you should save the ones. Your adversary will not give up so easily. He will not Basically, stop. Nate is uh, trying to just, quit, you know, go back and yeah. quit this. Nothing is worth this. But the problem now is that uh, what Lazarevich is looking uh, for... Of course, the there's something wrong with it, because this treasure allows you to control something of the universe. Only. Yes, sh the, whoever has the Shintamati stone will have uh, enough power to rule the world, so we gotta go in there and stop Lazarevich from getting it. You know, one has to wonder just how many societies decided to make something that could be a treasure, but us decided, hey guys, I have to hear that our rivals, the, um, this or that from another game have also made the scene that can rule the world. We should get in on that. And what if he's not? Uh, Nate, you're actually saying he's chasing a myth? You do about zombies at some point, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> you've seen zombies. I mean, you have no real leniency for skepticism here. <laughs> Tenzin? Yes, that's his name. Yeah, that's his name. Oh my god, yay! Verse, so this guy is, of course, versed by J.K. Simmons! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably my favorite character in Legend of Korra. Oh, the, oh, he is in... Oh, it was Korra. I'm yeah, J.K. That. Simmons was Tenzin. I, didn't, I haven't seen Legend of Korra, but I haven't even finished the last Airbend, Avatar The Last Airbender yet, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll definitely want to finish Avatar The Last Airbender before getting into Legend of Korra if you want to understand what's going yeah, on. Yeah, the yeah, show. yeah, there's a lot of backstory um, that... Ex mm. that uh, it, it, Korra requires viewing that show first, pretty much. Which is a good thing, because, again, Avatar The Last Airbender is an awesome TV series. Eh... Uh, what, you don't like Avatar The Last Airbender? No, 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 no. Oh, I mean, I mean the original. No, no, no. I love the original. Yeah, the Korra, yeah, yeah. Korra, though, not so much. Yeah. Basically, I was saying it's like, well, it's a good thing that, you know, it requires you to watch the original I, series. Don't get me wrong. Avatar there are Airbender some generally awesome great series. things. Don't get me wrong. There are some generally great things about Korra, but the entirety of Season 2 is garbage. I'll just throw that out right there. Um, <laughs> yeah, the only thing I like about Season 2 was... Uh, that yandere girl poaching after Bo and honest, Lee. and honest, and season three was better, but I still didn't think it was all that great. But see, but honestly, I didn't really like the ending of the of the show, the way the show ended, because it just felt like yeah, they, they ended right Cora and Asami apparently. Yeah, yeah, but that's exactly the point. The whole Asami and Cora pairing, it just came bloody out of nowhere and yeah, made no bad. and made no sense. And the writers did nothing with it, apparently. Don't get me wrong; I have no problem 
with them uh, having a lesbian relationship. Uh, I, I, don't, I, have, I have exactly zero problem with that. It's just that that relationship needs to be earned. You can't just have two two female characters who have never even showed a passing interest in each other, aside from friendship, suddenly become lovers at the very last scene of the show. That's all right. Uh, let's well, uh, that's what we have. Of it being, shall we? Shall we yeah, pass yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, now we're in the um, inside the mountain level of the game. So much for quitting. Basically, yeah. Already. Yeah, basically, we need to come here to try to um, uh, find something that will lead us to the Shintamadi stones. So Tenzin will lead us there. As proof for Nate, because Nate's getting tired of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nate, you got a few more ventures to handle. Two more, actually. Mm-hmm. Well, Kill three more. Well three, yeah. well, three more if you want to count. I kind of um... consider the fourth one. I kind of consider the fourth one a series of events because, oh my God, the stuff Nate has to go through in Uncharted Four. I I say that that I say that no Uncharted Four. My... So please, I haven't this finished Uncharted Four yet. the first three games. Huh? Anyway, no spoilers, please. I haven't finished Four yet. Not to mention, let's not, uh, if you want to. Not to mention, in, in case you uh, there's also the fact that maybe you, why, you might yeah, want to count um, uh, Golden Abyss on the PS Vita. Even though it's it wasn't made by Naughty Dog, it was made by the guys tried. who used to make Bubsy 3D. Yeah. Um, I forget. Um, what that game? Uh, where is it chronologically? Uh, Before I don't know. I'll, I'll look. I'll look it up. Hold on. But anyway, um, oh boy, wolves. Looks like oh no, it's. Uh, nothing here. Don't you see? This is the big freeze. Yeah. Oh yeah, go. This is the sequel to Alpha and Omega. Oh, don't see me now for Omega 6. No, no, the franchise as a whole. Basically, in canon, in my head canon, the series actually took place in this place, Tibet. But it froze over all of a sudden, so now all the pups have died except for those wolves. Wouldn't I be happy about that? Because those pups need to die. Oh, uh, Golden Abyss is a prequel to the first game, actually. Oh, nice. Actually, I, 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 never mind, never mind. It says here... Uh, the game's events take place some time before those of the Drake's Fortune, although the developers have stated that it is not a prequel to Drake's Fortune, but rather a separate original story. Basically, it's not canon, it's a spin-off, basically. It's not so, canon, it's not canon so, of the original series. we can't record these no, again, weird. so... So let me get this straight, so let me get this straight. They say it takes place before it, yet What's it's not even in the same continuity? No, it's not. What sense does that even make? It... Why not just say it's... I guess the developers. I guess the developers, since they didn't wanted to, you know, separate themselves from the the official canon for the sake of, uh, you know, giving themselves more of a chance in terms of uh, success, uh, which is what I don't know. But yeah, but as Drip said, we. I don't think we have the means of recording Vita games, do we? Not really, no. Um, that is unless they also you do can, uh, you, you can, uh, there, I think there is some kind of uh, thing to uh, to connect the PS Vita to an Elgato, but I, I still haven't put it up. Does any one of us even have a Vita? I do. Uh, Dwebs does. And Teo also does, does have it. Oh, yeah, it is no Teo have one. Hey Pedro, um, if you can find anything that can link a Vita to an Elgato, could you send the... Um, any link you might find to me so I can see if I can buy, buy it and record Vita games for us. Sure. Mostly Persona oh, 4 Gold. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. I would definitely love oh, first, yeah. first to... I would definitely ha love to first to do Golden instead of the original PS2 game. So, uh, what are the improvements? Does it at oh, least improve ones. how long the dungeons take? Uh... Not... Uh, man, the dungeon crawling is pretty much left intact, but then again, the dungeon crawling in Persona 4 was pretty much fine. You get more dialogue for stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about Persona 3, though. I mean, this is Actually, really Persona, the, about... the, the Persona 3 remake was for the PSP, not the Vita. Okay. Oh, then why did you say Persona 3 Gold edition? No, Persona 4 Golden, sorry. Okay, then. Okay, then. Because like, I was about to say, if I quote, there's a new edition of Persona 3, then they better fix the dungeon crawling. That was... Oh, Jesus Christ, what were they thinking with those dungeons? Well, the thing is, Joe, the dungeon crawling in Persona... Now, now let's, oh, by the way, since we now know that, that you know, thanks to Deep Silver, Persona 5 is definitely coming to Europe, and since <laughs> I believe I called doing that game... By all um, means. Can I do that one? Sure. Well, sure, you called yeah. it. I, I, and also, I, I want to do an RPG for the channel. Anyway, what I was uh, saying you're was... You're still uh... doing Mystic Quest. Anyway, what I was saying was... A good was... RPG. <laughs> okay, anyway, fair enough. Anyway, what I was saying was... Um, 
uh, yeah, basically Persona 3 uh, Portable was uh, that's the name of the remake. Persona 3 Portable. Right. Was that also an improvement? You, you can have a, you could, they added a female playable character. Yeah. I don't really get into Persona uh, much, but not, not uh, to mention Java. Trust me, if you didn't like the right, dungeon crawling, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. So where do I jump? <laughs> uh, think um, outside the box, Dribzy. Uh, okay, let's go back up here. Um, okay. Um, where is it? Um, okay, let's go back down here and see if there's a ledge I can latch onto. Look for your fellow NPC. He might be your guide. I'll be your guide. And also, we're in an area that kind of looks <laughs> like Karain. That so. pun is notorious. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So Don't... Ooh. Also, Joe, but if you don't, if you didn't care for the dungeon crawling in Persona Three, you're gonna have a you know gonna have a very good time with um, with Dark Cloud Two because uh, uh, I, I, dungeon crawling in Dark Cloud Two is very lackluster. Oops, I said. So. Oops, I implied that Dark Crawl Two is not perfect. Ooh, what did I do? Oh no, a level five. Well, game the difference perfect. being, it's like well, Dark Cloud. No, I, no, I, no. Actually, with um, I'm taking a chance specifically at Dark Cloud fans right now, not level five fans in general. Apparently, dark oh, oh guys, I found a rope, so hopefully huh? now I can find a good way out of this situation. There you go. Let's any, go any, there you go. Anywho, I mean, I guess with me and Dark Cloud 2, something about the dungeons at least feels more fun and artistic to look at. Now, that's not saying that Persona 3 doesn't have good artistic visuals, but I swear to God, the dungeons in that one feel like they drag on even longer than your typical Zelda game. Right. Uh, honestly, Jova, I would. Sorry, I, I um. Not I, uh, really. Uh, I, I don't really see how. If you know what you're doing, is all the dungeons on drag. Whereas in Dark Chronicle, the final dungeon of that game can last hours because there's so many fucking rooms. Yeah. Basically, basically, uh, guys, I tried to, I tried to get to that little. Um, I thought that bit at the far side was something I could, I could climb on, but I think either I pressed the wrong button, or I mis, or I miscalculated my jump and I fell into the abyss. Well, you know what they say, Dribs. Try, try, no, try, try the more, the No, try, try, right, try it um, again. Uh, yeah, let's, let's let's try again. Yes. Quick, Dribs. Find Alby. All right. Um, <laughs> sorry, he's um he's being prosecuted. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. I have to defend him. All right. Let's um let's try again. In that case, I need to get down this way. There we go. Maybe. There we go, climb down these little woo. And there we go. Done. Right, I'll just reach this bit here. Anyway, what I was saying earlier, Jova, was uh, this game has shooting, platforming, and set pieces and all that kind of stuff, whereas uh, the other cage uh, games don't really have gameplay. So I, I, I think it's not. I think it's if you're gonna compare uh, David Cage done well. I think the Telltale Telltale's games like Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us are a much more uh, are a much better comparison. Yeah, there you go. There we go. I managed to escape that little um, thing that was causing me a bit of a bit of, bit of, bit of bother. Uh, uh, get out of the way. Right. Where now? Well, upwards, it seems. Thank you, Tenzin. Oh, no, we swing. One moment. Actually. Sure. Okay, you need a bit more momentum. And nailed it. Oh, perhaps. Good thing Tenzin was here. Okay, we're even. Catch him, muscle. Not yet. Hmm. Uh, you too. <laughs> I think he said, "Go screw yourself." Then. So... <laughs> Oops. That would be interesting. What the hell was that? You know how muscle. It was the coming of Capcom. He said. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, what you're saying is Capcom are actually older than we think and actually made this civilization. Of course, it all makes sense now. Okay, now we're in the fortress wait, of solitude. Wait, uh, Capcom, you're telling me that this is going to be like Resident Evil 6 and it's going to turn into a, into a, a, a poor man's Scares of War? This, what uh, it's funny, Paige, and now people are complaining about Resident Evil 7 being a poor man's PT. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I kind of. In the like, meantime, well, the thing, well, to be fair, the the developers have said that the, the the game itself is not going to be like the demo, so I don't think that's a fair thing to say. At least until we've seen the game. You know what I loved 
the, you know what I love? The fact that people are still reeling for some reason at the fact that we got a Resident Evil 7 before My Number 9 came out. It's like, oh, was Resident Evil 7 like something that people thought was never coming or something? I I don't quite get it. Well, yeah, Resident Evil 6 was such a gigantic pile of shit and such a bomb that uh, people kind of assume that, oh, well, honestly, at this point, would Capcom ever make another Resident Evil game? <laughs> main one, revelations aside. Yeah, yeah, main one. I guess... You know, it's funny. Well, Ever since... Have another one. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. One. Resident oh, Evil 7 well, that's Biohazard. The thing, There's a Resident well, that's Evil. The thing, yeah. Oh, that's the thing, Shuri. Ever since uh, 2013 or 2014, Capcom, Capcom seems to have been upping their game in these. Of course, it probably helps that they've only really been focusing on, like, several branches. One of them being Ace Attorney, which surprisingly has yet you know to really what? suffer... I think everyone's... I think everyone's afraid of turning into Konami now. <laughs> that they're all trying very hard. <laughs> yeah. That actually was my fear, because, like, oh, think of it. I mean, like, last year, even the likes of Sega, Square Enix especially, and yes, Capcom showed greater improvements. Capcom themselves Not just that. gave a full blown apology and actually continued to improve. Oh, oh shit. But, well, uh, oh, we're so not, not going back that help. way. But not just that, Jova. Like even um, even Yoshi Yoshi Wada, the former pre the former president of Square Enix, who basically quit after the um, the financial crisis that the company was going for after lightning returns, um, yeah. like even he said on Facebook that he doesn't understand what the hell Konami is doing. Like the, uh, you, why would you go intentionally go out of your way to make everybody your enemy? Like yeah, you, yeah, see, yeah. you see, Konami, you see, you see, Konami. When Yoshi fucking Wada, the guy who who brought Square Enix into a financial crisis, is telling you how to run your company, yeah. You might want to rethink your life. <laughs> and you want to know what Suri says? Like, oh, there's no doubt of exaggeration because, like, well, when they kept Kojima from coming to the video game awards, even Sony dissed them. I mean, no, 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 no. Well, that so entire award ceremony ended up turning into a fuck Konami thing. <laughs> Actually, sure. Um, Even that only like that one part. <laughs> well, to be fair, there was more game awards than that, but right, yeah, that uh, was a big. Oh, hello. Schaefer says hello. Oh. There yep. we go. Gun works and it's loaded. Thank you. You've done a good service, now, my fellow man. You yeah. can go back to rest Pedro? now. Basically, guys, oh, Dick, Dick Drake. Well, the fuck is, is that thing? thing? Oh my God! It's the abominable snowman. No, go, go save Tenzin. Uh, fuck this hope he didn't fast. die. Wouldn't that be a shame? Yeah, this is the part. Yeah, this is the this is the part where pro I'm guessing this is the part where Briss probably realized what I, what I meant when I said that this plot is kind of a rehash of um, the first game, in a way. Yeah, mystical being. I, mean, I don't think we'd I don't think we'd finish the playthrough of the first game by this point though. No. Uh, eh? Wait, 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 what? No, no, wait. I don't think I don't think we finished yes, commentating we did. over yes, we did. the game. Yes, we did. Oh, you wait, remember, I uploaded this back in May. Oh right. Oh, you, oh, you mean that? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You're right. Yeah. Never, never mind. I, I got, I got you. Uh, what I meant was, uh, this is another, this is another main. Re uh, again, again, this doesn't really detract from the game all that much to me. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, I still enjoy the story quite a lot. Uh, it's just that I'm a bit disappointed that uh, the big uh, thing at the end is once again uh, giant uh, mindless zombie things. I don't know. It kind of what? Yeah, Miko. It wasn't exactly zombie things, and like say, oh yeah, that's right. We're actually getting near the end. That's what. That's why. That's why. Unlike most people, I actually have a, quite a lot of appreciation for Uncharted Free Story because not only did we get a good look into some of Nate's past, it, that story actually tried something different instead of just re instead of doing the whole Where? zombie thing again. Although I will admit, the whole treasure that they were looking for did kind of seem rather oh similar, God. sadly. Oh, you mean um, the the wa the water in Uncharted Free? Yeah, I mean, granted, you know, it was to be expected, I guess. But I will say, I feel they could have maybe tried to do something a bit different with the artifact they were looking for. Well, that's one cool thing that we also can bring up about Uncharted 4, because Uncharted 4 also, oh, yeah. because Uncharted 4 really, and like I said before, uh, a lot of people were worried uh, when Hemi had okay, okay, uh, spoiling. So no, 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 don't okay, worry, we're not going to spoil anything. Okay, hang on, sorry, though. I wasn't looking at the screen. How did I die there? Uh, you fell. You missed the jump. You missed the jump. Anyway, 
Um, that, that's, that's one other thing. People were a bit worried uh, when uh, Amy Hennig left the company, but honestly, if you ask me, with Neil Druckmann and uh, being in charge of the entire farm probably made it even better than it would be otherwise, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, this was like Tony Hank. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 I love Amy. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I think, uh, it's just that I think Neil um, the, 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 yeah. did a. Uh, I just think Neil's uh, being in charge was probably the main reason why there were so many improvements, both story wise and gameplay wise, because uh, he, te he, his, he has a different approach to Amy. He's much more. He, he has a more. Let's just say. He likes to focus more on stealth. He likes to focus more on um, loss and character uh, driven drama. Yeah, no one's saying she did a bad job. Oh no no no! no. I, I love I love Amy. It's just that I think Neil Druckmann is a better writer in general. Hmm. Yeah, it's like I'll put it like this, folks. Without spoiling, uh, I was deliciously surprised with what the final thing in Uncharted Four was. Let's just say, while the stakes may not have been like world threatening, they still were able to be high enough for me to care and for a way to, to still feel like a bombastic finale. Not just that's actually yeah. quite an achievement for the fact that, like, well, the thing that's actually not worldwide threatening is actually still felt like quite possibly the biggest threat I've ever felt in an Uncharted yeah, game. Yeah, it's, beca it's, because the it's, because the it's because of the emotional sticks and the fact that the plot build up to it. <laughs> Whereas, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, <laughs> oh, come uh... on. <laughs> At, um, do you just like hearing that game over sound music there? No, I thought I was just lost where... of where to go, so I thought I'd jump back there. <laughs> That'll work. I, I, I'll just say this: I fucking I'll just I'll just say this. The final boss of Uncharted Four is one of my favorite ever uh, Uncharted bosses. I love that. I love that final boss so much. I love fencing, so yeah, I love that boss too. Okay, okay, no spoilers, but it's the final boss god. No, it's not a no, no, no. no. Trust me, Dwebs. Like the final boss is the final boss is an incredibly normal human human being. But they're oh, yeah. Okay, well, Besides, yeah, it's on it's not Nate's not, side, uh... if anything. Yeah. Okay, so so it's not Star Trek V. Like... No, don't worry, don't worry, Dwebs. But that wasn't God. Oops, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> they're like the one Spoiler, people. Spoilers. Who Uncharted should... Four does not have God in it. Ruin forever. <laughs> ruin, ruin, ruin forever. <laughs> Major, what are your thoughts on Star Trek V? Uh, I don't like it very much. Uh, it's hilariously bad. It hey, is. Guys, it is. But, like... it's, um, but it's. Um, but hey, at least it has a great score by Jerry Goldsmith backing it up. Anyway, everybody, see you for the next part where we start Chapter 18, The Heart of Ice. Of as long as I don't yeah. die before we get to that. Heart point. of Ice. I'm getting back. <laughs> Actually, because we literally started the chapter right before the part ended. So yeah. Yeah, okay, see you then. See ya. Yeah.